These are the little gems. We are converting them to saltwater fish. Where our previous little puffer fish, Puffy McPuffins was, he's buried, rest his soul. The little sail fins, look at them. Nice. New fish. So today we are making freshwater salt water mollies. We are converting them to saltwater fish. Stay tuned. We are emptying about almost half of this water out of this saltwater tank where our previous little puffer fish, Puffy McPuffins was. He's buried, rest his soul. And now we are going to make this into a molly tank. So now we are going to add fresh water all the way up to fill the top. So we're gonna ease them and slowly acclimate them as time goes on here into full saltwater mollies. These are the little gems. These little three sailfin mollies we actually caught in a freshwater pond in our last video. So check that out. I'll also leave a link in the description below for that. Make sure you check that video out because we added some awesome fish to our tank here as well. It's gonna be sweet. sweet. All right, so we're adding some of the fresh water in right now. It's already been treated, good to go. So these are the little mollies that will, the little sail fins, look at them. They will become saltwater fish very shortly. We are going to drip acclimate them. Now we've already used half salt water, which has already been cycled, and now it's gonna be a brackish water tank. And it's now diluted, the salt water, so everything will be perfect for them to start their new journey in their new environment. So now that the water is flowing, we're gonna go ahead and let this simmer, and we'll come back in about 20 minutes. To place, you beautiful, cute little creatures. Okay, so it's actually been 45 minutes. They've acclimated beautifully with salt water mixed with their fresh water. So we're gonna go ahead and introduce these guys into their tank right now. Here we go. All right, so there's only three of them. We are going to scoop them out one by one. They actually do jump pretty fast. You got all three, right, in one shot? Almost. All right, if you got two, you can just do the two. Okay. Nice. They almost blend right into the sand. They're like the same color as the sand and the rocks. It's perfect. This is going to be very nice, very nice. So AJ got two in the first net, now for the last one. Got it. Oh, well, this one's a big one. <laughs> the big the one. Big one. Oh, look at <laughs> nice. the big one. Nice. Kind of a basic colored fish. Nothing crazy special. Just an example of how to acclimate Molly's to salt water. If you check out our last video, you'll see we caught these in a freshwater pond. They are living in salt water right now. We had a saltwater puffer fish that we caught at the beach that was living in here until it passed away. But we just turned this tank in memory of Puffy McPuffins to still keep it going, to still keep it running into a Molly tank right now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smash us the like button on this video for the sake of these mollies and in remembrance of Puffy McPuffs. And these guys will do well. We'll keep you posted on how they adapt and hopefully they feed perfectly fine and everything goes well. They are part of a family. These were a part, actually all three together we caught them. So they're still together. So make sure you like the video, please. Subscribe to this channel. And as always, stay adventurous. A1A Adventures. Make sure you hit the notification bell button below so you stay tuned to all of the new videos we post and it will notify you when we post or catch new fish. 24 hours later. Okay, so just a quick jump start for you guys. 24 hours later, they are doing amazing. Just a little bit shy and they kind of stick to themselves. One of them has a little bit of a black marking on top of it, which is kind of cool. It's a little pattern. Be able to tell it apart from its other little friends. And they ate twice today. They ate some mysis shrimp earlier, some frozen mysis shrimp, but I brought over some food. So we're gonna see if they want to eat a little more. And not too much, just a little pinch, not to overfeed. It's definitely hard to break these little guys away from their shy personalities. But I feel if I sit back and lay low a little bit, maybe they'll start, yep, they're starting to come out from behind the rocks basically just picking some of the flakes that are just falling down. And they definitely stick together as a team, especially when they're feeding. 
and it'll definitely take a little time for these guys to get used to their new tank, but they're on their way. And even if not their tank, just human interaction in general, because these are pretty timid in the wild, but they seem to be getting used to us every time we walk up towards the tank, because they know food is on their way. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video of watching these beautiful mollies get put into their new brackish water tank, and they will soon become full saltwater mollies. Stay tuned for more videos with these guys. Thanks for watching. A1A Adventures.